On this week's news update, a swimming sea cucumber, a robot running record, and designing wearable muscles. First up, our oceans are home to some unique animal species. One distinctive group of animals are sea cucumbers. The strange looking animals live on the sea floor where they feed on tiny particles like algae. One species of sea cucumber behaves a little differently though, floating through the water like a jellyfish. Scientists have recently released footage of the extremely rare swimming sea cucumbers, sometimes living at depths of four kilometers about as deep as eight Empire State Buildings on top of each other, the sea cucumbers feed on small bits of food drifting past them. Because they live at such extreme depths, they are very hard for scientists to study. However, because there is very little oxygen deep below the ocean's surface, it is also hard for potential predators to swim deep enough to eat them. Next up, it's Tech Beat. Athletes are expert runners, but could robots soon be running faster? Recently, a bipedal robot, which means a robot with two legs, named Cassie, completed a 100-meter dash. Cassie completed the run in just 25 seconds, a world record for a robot, just 15 seconds slower than the fastest humans. The movement of Cassie's knees is based on ostrich knees, enabling the robot to develop a slight bounce when running, helping it to maintain speed. Cassie has also completed a five kilometer run, and its designers are now teaching it how to climb stairs. Do you think robots like Cassie will ever move as quickly as humans? And finally, some of us live with conditions that make it hard to use our muscles. This can make carrying out certain tasks challenging. Now, researchers are developing wearable muscles that can help increase natural muscle strength. The flexible Mayo shirt can be worn like a vest. It contains a small motor that is attached to cables. When sensors in the shirt detect the wearer moving a muscle, the cables tighten and pull up the arm, adding extra power to the user's muscle movement. The Mayo shirt has been tested by volunteers and has helped users lift heavy objects and hold on to things for longer than usual. Researchers hope the wearable muscles will soon be ready to use at home, helping to make people's everyday lives a little easier. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time.